Yo guys, this is Mozenden and today I'm going to show you how you can make your very own um, logo in your YouTube channel. So I, I know I already done a tutorial, tutorial of this logo but I have a new design so I'm going to show you how you can make it. So what you are going to need is Pixel Lab. So the link is in the description so you can download it. So first what you are going to need is click this button right over here and then make uh, put your text. So I'm going to put AM because that is the first letter of my youtube channel name and then click that a button and then go to the font font just like that click that and then you have a very many fonts in here but i have my fonts in here so i'm going to use this no so i'll find I'll find my font guys so I'll be back. So now guys I have my very own font so now what you are going to need is click this size button and then make it like <clears throat> like that so you can resize it just like that and then click this check button right over there and to make it 3D so you can just click that and then enable just like that and then click that plus button and then you can rotate it just like that so just like that and then this will be created guys so that's pretty much it so now click this that color button so i'm going to make it like blue yes just like that so let's go to the next step so guys i forgot on how you can save it so first what you are going to need is click this button right over here and then transparent and then click this button right over here and then import image so just like that and then make sure to click this button and then make it png and then save to color so guys for the next step is what you are going to need is adobe photoshop touch so the link is in the des description so you can download it so what you're going to need is make a blank document and then make it like 500 500 by 500 and then click that ok button so this will be pop up in your screen so now what you are going to need is click this button and then plus button and then find the 3d 3d text that we made a while and then this is it and then put it just like that and then you can resize it just like that guys and then click that check button and then what you are going to need is click this, this and then change to circle selection tool and then make like a circle um, make a circle like that guys and then what you're going to need is switch it switch the layer selection in the blank layer and then fill and stroke then make sure to make it stroke and then you can just um find a color that you want and then what you're going to need is adjust it just like that <coughs> and then click that that plus button right over there and then what you're going to need is is switch it into the box just like that and then what you're going to need is delete the parts in here and then click this and clear just like that guys so what you are going to need now is just click that click that um, end button and then transform just like that and make it like this guys you can um, make it bigger just like that Yes, yeah, so click the check button and then what you are going to need is switch the um, circle layers to the up just like that and then what you are going to need now is just erase this um, part of the, the um, circle and then click this button and then clear just like that guys so make the circle in here just like the um, just like the color of the text so just like that and then you can just put it like like this guys and then rotate it just like that so yeah that's pretty much it so what you're going to need now is put is switch to that layer and then put a empty layer and then put it down just like that then put your like um like background so i'm going to use black so yes that's just like that guys and then switch that and then merge down like that and then transform it put it in the center and we're done if you want for some 
<coughs> some um, effect what you're going to need is click that effects button and then just put a drop shadow on it guys just like that it's not you can see the drop sh the shadow if you're using black but when you're using um white background you can see it so yeah that's for today guys that's for today tutorial so i hope you i i hope you enjoy it and i hope you i hope i help you so please click that like button and subscribe button for me and make sure to drop to subscribe in my channel and stay tuned so yeah goodbye when I see you again, when I